Hi, I'm a Bullis student tutor, and in this video I'm going to be talking about proof by induction in relation to number theory. So in previous videos we've talked about several different ways to prove mathematical statements. We've talked about direct proofs, contrapositive proofs, and proof by contradiction. Another form of mathematical proof is proof by induction, and it's particularly useful in situations where you need to prove that a set of statements are all true. So it's used a lot in sequences or series in math when you need to come up with a rule for a sequence or a series. So let's take as an example the following statement. For every natural number n, 2 to the n is greater than n. And we should remember that natural numbers are just counting numbers like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. They're not negative numbers. So with this statement, we've got an infinite set of possibilities for n which give us different values. So when n equals 1, we see that 2 is greater than 1. When n equals 2, we see that 4 is greater than 2. We see that 8 is greater than 3 for n equals 3. 16 is greater than 4 for n equals 4, and so on. But we want to prove this for every natural number, not just 1, 2, 3, and 4, which we can see the statement holds up for. So we're going to prove this using mathematical induction. And mathematical induction, in mathematical induction, all the possible scenarios created by this statement are treated like dominoes. So to prove it, you make sure of two things in induction. First, the first domino, quote-unquote, in the chain will fall. And second, every falling domino will knock over the next domino in the chain. So to put it into math terms, we first prove in induction a base case, or that the first domino is going to fall, that the statement is true for n equals 1. Then we make an inductive step, and we assume that the statement is true for all natural numbers up through an arbitrary number k. The base case we can actually prove, because it's very easy to prove that a um, rule is true when n equals 1. You just plug 1 in. The inductive step is an assumption we make an inductive hypothesis, and the rest of the proof is taken up trying to prove that the statement is true for k plus 1, and you prove that using your inductive hypothesis that you made <laughs> during your inductive step. So let's actually try and prove this initial statement that we had using uh, proof by induction. First, we prove our base case, that the statement is true for n equals 1. And that's very easy to prove. 2 to the 1 equals 2, and 2 is greater than 1. We have therefore proven our base case. Next, we move on to our inductive step. And we assume the statement is true for all k, all natural numbers up through an arbitrary k. And this is our inductive hypothesis that we'll use later on in the proof. So now we have to show that 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1. And if we can prove that, that means that our statement is true. So we'll start with our inductive hypothesis that 2 to the k is greater than k. And then we can multiply both sides of this by 2 to get 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than 2k, using our exponent rules here and realizing that 2 to the k times 2 to the 1 equals 2 to the k plus 1. Now we have to do a little bit of manipulation to k. So we know that k is greater than or equal to 1 because it's a natural number. So we then know that k plus k has to be greater than or equal to k plus 1, because if k equals 1, which is its lowest amount, that would mean that 
2 would be on this side and 2 would be on this side and they would be equal. If k is anything else, if k were 2, then you would have 4 on this side and 3 on the other, and that pattern would continue for any other value of k. So we also know that from this, 2k, which is the same as k plus k, is greater than or equal to k plus 1. Combining these two inequalities, we then get 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1. And if we rewrite this, we realize that this is what we wanted to prove all along. Since our inductive hypothesis was that 2 to the k is greater than k, we had to prove, based on what you try to do in proof by induction, that 2 to the k plus 1 is greater than k plus 1. And we did. Thus, based on the principle of mathematical induction, we have proven our initial statement. So proof by induction is a proof that's a little more difficult to digest, but in essence it's used when you want to prove a set of statements, like here we wanted to prove that 2 to the n was greater than n for all the natural numbers. And so you prove the statement when n equals 1, you assume that the statement is true for all n equal k, and you try and prove that the statement is true for k plus 1. This has been a Bullis Student Tutor video. If you liked the video and found it helpful, please make sure to like the video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out all our other great tutoring videos on our YouTube page. Thank you.